belong to us. We can't see you. Can't you can't sit with us. You can't see us. You can't join the photo shoot with us. Yeah, my suitcase is very much so packed. Uh, I can get away with it because I don't really give a sh oh. oh, yeah, my Instagram got hacked. That's fun. Don't be the not be Hey guys, that's a wrap. Woo! determined not to start a vlog in the same spot as I always do but here we are again <laughs> anyway hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you're all here welcome back to a new vlog um I don't know I've been feeling like I wanted to vlog for a little while now but I kind of knew I wanted this vlog to be me like prepping to go away I go away on the 12th of April and then I will film my holiday so i was like kind of planning for this vlog to be a bit more of a prepping vlog and i know my videos end up being like really really long so i was trying to make sure i wasn't doing too much basically and um, just got done um well i filmed a pick a card earlier and then i also did i do like a mini pick a card reading on the k living instagram i was about to call it a channel the k living instagram so I just got finished with that. I don't know, I wasn't really feeling it. I'm not really feeling any messages today, so I'm gonna review it probably like tomorrow or something and just see if I actually wanna post them or not. But anyway, the reason I actually pick up the, pick up the camera in the end to start the vlog was because my Amazon order came, which I literally ordered it either, I think on Sunday or something like that, and it's already here. So I thought whilst instead of just keeping it in its packaging and stuff and like not showing it or whatever for ages i kind of want to see what's actually in there so i'm going to just show you what i got now it's all for my trip away but it's also stuff that i kind of needed at the same time but this is a new head oh nice material what's this called a bonnet that's what it is i don't have a bonnet i had i used to have one but you know i always wear that pink headscarf um so i needed a new bonnet especially because i'm gonna have like passion twists and i have a feeling they might get a little bit messy quite quickly and we're away for like nine days so i want to try and protect it as much as possible so i got like one of those extra long bonnets i was actually going to get it in this white color but then my sister made <laughs> my sister was like okay jesus so I decided to get it in this navy colour instead and I think I'm just going to try and find like a pyjamas from um, Primark or something to match with it because I think that would be really cute if I could find like a matching kind of pyjamas. So it's like this and then it also comes with, I'll link everything down below, I always do but I actually need to put my links on my get ready with me. No one really cares at this point, I can't lie. Anyway, maybe I need to stop saying that but... If I don't link things, no one's like, link your items. So I just take my time with it at this point. Anyway, it comes with this little band as well, this satin band. So you can just kind of like properly tie it around you. And also it's a nice band for uh, tying down your edges as well. I have the black one, but I thought just because these things like to slip off your head a bit. So best to just go with the extra. Yeah, this is the only one I found well i don't know i was looking on amazon so this whole thing is from amazon by the way sorry i didn't say that but i was looking on amazon for a satin bonnet and all of them had satin on the outside and then like cotton in the inside and like so many other reviews were like oh you know basically saying that too and this was the only one that i saw that was relatively not overpriced and had both satin inside and outside so I'm happy I found that. They had uh, quite a few colour options. Usually I'm a black girl, like I'll go for just black everything, but I don't, I don't know, I'm in a bit of a colour mood these days. I'm not feeling for black. Anyway, the rest of it is in this box. Yeah, this stuff came so quickly. I swear it was meant to come out on either Thursday or Wednesday. I don't know. I'm not complaining that, am I? I ain't probably complaining, but... I don't know, me and my family, like, or should I say me and my sister, 
I don't know if it's just because we don't really go away often or what, but we're not really like last minute packers. Like I'm a pack bef three weeks before you go kind of packer. So right now it's about three weeks, I think, before we go in a way. So I'm kind of like just trying to make sure I've got everything that I need, make sure that I've made all my at least online purchases because I know how these things like to be. All right, let's see if everything's actually come today. The funny thing is earlier I had this like inclination that I needed to check my Amazon um, whereabouts, but I never did. I was just like, oh, I can't be asked right now. And then my dad just came and he was like, this box has been sitting outside. <laughs> I was like, right. So that was probably that um, feeling. Whoa. Okay. So I ended up getting my hair off of Amazon because you can just get so many more packs and it's not too overpriced. Uh, I went with like these passion twist. And I think it's 24 inches as well. So yes, it's Hopefully this covers my whole hair. Sorry, they're not passion twists, but they're like body wave, I think. And then you twist it together, so it makes passion twists. It's like this, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but basically got this kind of ombre colour. I'll write the colour on the screen. Oh, it's T27. Yeah, I got T27. I'm just trying to decide if I like the colour or not. I was going to go for like this very orangey toned uh hair of the same style like passion twist but i was like i don't know when it came to buying it like i had this whole i was gonna do that for like since january since we booked the holiday i was like yeah i'm gonna have this color i'm gonna have this color and then when it came to actually getting the hair i was like i don't know because sometimes my black roots and also i haven't done passion twists in a hot minute i think i've done it once and that was a black hair so i was like i don't really want to risk it because if i don't like it it's going to piss me off so i just went with kind of more of a manageable color but the nice thing about this is it's got like the lighter so you see this lighter tone here it's got that like running through these kind of darker brown or black i'm not sure what it is but um parts as well so it makes it just a bit more blended and nice like that oh okay this got packaged first me. so that is that i'm still waiting on my shoelaces to come which is a bit random but basically i'm planning on buying some converse high tops the leather ones and then i wanted to switch up the shoelaces i wanted to get like a beigey color shoelace but the brand where I wanted to get shoelaces from, as in like the Amazon store, they didn't really have a nice beige colour in the length that I wanted it in because I want them to be quite long so I can wrap them around my feet. So I just went with like a lightish grey colour. I don't know. I was planning on getting black converses. So if that all goes down well, then yeah. I don't know hopefully i just it looks fine but they were about four pounds anyway so it's not too crazy the thing that i've basically been looking forward to is these packing compartment things this was probably the most expensive no it wasn't the hair was i don't know i went for the more expensive option with these packing with this packing case because i thought do you know what it's better to just do it now rather than just chicken out get something a bit more low price and something you don't really love that much so i think i'll just put this picture here rather than unpacking it because it's basically you've got them all in here which is actually a really good idea because it means i can just kind of like store them in here yeah it means i can just store them in here until i'm ready to use them which is not going to be for like at least the end of this week um yeah so i just went with this gray color that was a really nice like bluey color even though again i'm not really a colored per like a colored person <laughs> i'm not really like a color color person so i'm surprised i wanted to go for that color but there was like this 
bluey gray almost color and i was gonna go for that but it was like four pounds or five pounds more than this silvery gray color and i was like i'm gonna just go for that i'm gonna just go for that um but i really like their little things that they come with like the zip detail that's what i'm trying to say the zip detail so this weird black thing on it but anyway this zip detail is just i don't know this one just looked a bit more higher quality super thin really nice and lightweight and it just had the right amount of compartments i feel like because i'm gonna use some for maybe more hand luggage some for actual packing i've done this before but i feel like i just should make a a big powerpoint of like the trip like the I stuff to do there my outfits who's going the dates travel money da -da 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 -da. just so that i feel like there's a lot going on like to me there's not a like there's actually not a lot going on in my life but as soon as i have one extra thing to do i'm like whoa well there's too much to do whoa i'm so stressed so if i just first of all i just need to tell myself not to be overwhelmed because there's literally no reason to be but also this will just help me feel like i'm a bit more structured a bit more organized even if it is a bit excessive it just helps with my my health my mental health right and yeah that's kind of what i wanted to i wanted to just introduce the vlog and show you those bits go through the go through them with you i will see you guys i'm not gonna long this out so i'm gonna see you guys in my next clip i don't know when that will be I don't even know what I intend to film for this vlog but like I said it's going to be focused on me getting ready to go away. Hey there guys, long time no chat, no update. Um, I have just come out of the bath and <laughs> I completely forgot why I even turned on the camera. I am basically, oh yeah, so basically today I want to probably try on a few outfits to try and help me pick my outfits that I want to bring with me so I will like probably I don't know talk you talk with you guys whilst I'm doing that um because this week I don't know I've just been meaning like from Monday I plan to go to town I plan to get all my shit done that I needed to do but you know me just planning and actually doing it two different things I haven't really felt like it I feel like I have a slight cold it's just like a lingering i don't know what it is i thought i had covid but i did do a covid test they're not really that accurate anyway so i don't know but here we are and i'm blaming it on that anyway so yeah but i am very concerned that it will get to next week because next week is my last like full week before we go away which is away for nine days so i'm concerned it will get to next week i'll realize i had more to do than i initially thought and then I'll run out of time because on Saturday it my friend's doing a photo shoot so I have to go and do that which is going to be in the whole day like entirely the whole day so I will probably bring you guys along with that so long as I don't feel completely exhausted but yeah so we're going to do a photo shoot the weather I'm actually a good thing I didn't leave the house today because ugh, I've just turned around it's snowing again it's gone from snowing to sunshine to hailstone back to snow right now i have no idea it's doing its own thing global warming at its finest <coughs> sometimes i start vlogging i realize this is the first time i've spoken out loud all day it is like what time is it it's one o'clock so we're not too bad on today's kind of schedule i am like editing this video which is going to be about rue and jules from euphoria i basically want to like do some character analysis videos just see how they go um it's something i'm i've been interested in doing so yeah they are taking i don't know how like spread out these are these are probably going to be like three a year at this point because they i'm realizing it takes a very long time to research film it and then edit it as well and i feel like with long videos because this video is a almost an hour long which a lot of my videos are really long <laughs> uh, i don't know i need to find my audience who likes long videos because i don't get i don't really go on tiktok and i know a lot of people have been like tiktok has caused me to have a short attention span i go on a tiktok 
once in a blue moon so I feel like I still love really long videos so that's just me anyway my nails are ridiculously grown out because it's probably it's been a month since I last had them done and since we go away in a week I'm like trying to debate when do I get them done when do I go and get my nails done because I'm not gonna waste money I wasn't gonna waste money and get it done and then get it done again if that makes sense so they are very grown out I've like cut them all the way down to this length now which is basically where my nails are so hopefully they're not annoyed at me for doing that but whatever I'm editing this video I'm gonna keep doing this I was actually I thought I'd finished but as I was saying with long videos like this there's like little extra kind of just things like making it a bit more snappy cutting down the intros yada 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 so I'm trying to just be really brutal with myself and be like you don't need that get that out it, if that wasn't in there it won't be missed so that type of thing because when you film like when you put a lot of effort into a video you kind of want to keep everything because you're like yeah but I put time into doing that so I want to show you that but if you really want to get the engagement then sometimes you just really do need to cut out a little bits and pieces here and there so I'm going to try my best to cut out stuff that it needs to be cut out maybe add a few like um in these videos I slightly plan what I'm going to say and like longer videos talking videos I should say <coughs> my throat feels really dry at the moment goodness me oh okay um in my in like discussion videos I slightly plan what I'm going to say I put like bullet points where I do like a paragraph sorry a powerpoint slide or something like that which I did for this video but most of it is on the spot so there is like parts where I would I'm looking I'm um, watching it back and I'm like oh, I, I, I know what word I was looking for there but I didn't quite get it in the video which is really annoying frustrating so yeah it's fine though We're, we are imperfect I'm trying to remember that as I edit this video yeah um it's got to a point where I've watched it so many times I'm kind of fed up of hearing the words for myself and it kind of like then it ha ma it makes it a bit harder to know whether it's actually going to be interesting or not but I think I'm still interested in it so someone should find interest in this I hope. Attachment 3 I'm going to be talking about comes from like Ainsworth who identified three main attachment styles. So let's move on to Rue. So Rue is a 70 year old drug. I'll put it up here anyway if anyone wants to check it out. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in here because if I pop in and start filming, it will make me do it more. So can you tell I sound ill? I feel like I do sound a little bit ill. Hmm. I will see you guys a little bit later on when I hopefully start trying on some outfits. Maybe I'll eat lunch first even. I don't know. I wanted to do it when I was straight out of the bath because it's cold. And after you come out the bath or a shower, you feel just a little, like your body temperature is up a little bit. So I feel like I can put on clothes, take them off, yada, yada, yada. But I am going to start getting cold soon. Hmm. But I really want to start uploading this today. Anyway, <laughs> all things you guys did not need to know about. So I'll check in with you in a little bit later on. I don't know what it is, but every time I turn this camera, it starts snowing like crazy. Um. So I've literally just got done it would help if this was focusing there we go i've literally just got done filming sorry not filming um editing that video it's now 3 p.m i can't remember what time it was one something wasn't it when i last spoke to you guys so just goes to show how long i've been working on that i'm finally happy with it done my my laptop just needs to have a little break and then i'll probably start loading it like maybe two hours from now i don't know what are we doing welcome to my wardrobe you know what time it is excuse the orangey lighting um i have my overhead whatever these called what do they call them when they're in the ceiling i have my ceiling lights on they are orange you know the vibes i'm also bursting for the toilet but my brother is in the bathroom so i'm like 
patiently waiting at the moment. Anyway, getting distracted as always. And uh, luckily, of course I did, I basically made a whole PowerPoint of outfit ideas. Anyway, so I have about how many outfits do I have on here? Um, so I've got, oh, I've got nine outfits on here and we're away for nine days. I don't need nine outfits because I also have airport outfit one and two, which I'll probably be in for most of the day, like two days. I've got outfits that are a bit more covered up and then I also have night time outfits as well. I need to figure out like outfit alternatives. Like I said, it's snowing. It's snowing. Um, obviously it doesn't mean it's snowing in Turkey or anything. <laughs> I don't even know if it's nice in Turkey, but the weather is a bit like one week it's really hot there the next week it's just kind of mid and as you can see i'm getting cold already and i'm in the house so i need to think about that i do have luckily like i said outfit ideas already kind of done so the first one actually maybe i just show you like this and then i'll show you me putting it together that might make it a bit more interesting can i zoom on here ah yeah there we fucking go all right so this is the first one we have some oversized jeans this one has rips in it on the picture and then we've got a black shirt and then also this headscarf as well so that's kind of the look that i'm going for here i also did write like a little thing of what i would pair with it so i'm gonna go ahead and try that on and then we will discuss how i'm feeling about it obviously my hair is not done so it's a bit hard to like envision outfits when you look like this um so yeah let's just bear that in mind but i'm gonna go ahead and try this on i think my brother just came out the bathroom i'm gonna go for a piss first too and the sun is back out again got my first fit on it's literally very very casual this is kind of the vibe i'm going for like if i was going out in london it's not a special day i'm just in the city basically that's kind of what i'm aiming for i will be wearing a bra with my outfits but i can't be asked to put it on now because yes um imagine this also ironed <laughs> so we've got a black shirt oversized shirt kind of um so this is a body shoot option i'm probably going to bring a kind of like black top maybe option as well i'll try that on in a bit but this is kind of the first i don't know i've got the I'll probably wear this one because it's got a bit of darker prints in it. The focus is terrible, so I apologise. And then the oversized jeans with the rips in them. I'm not going to show you like details, details because obviously I will be vlogging me going away. And then when I put on outfits when I'm away, I will like talk about where things are from as well and like properly properly accessorize and stuff you know oh this would look cute with some sunnies obviously obviously gotta accessorize with some sunnies girl these also look cute with some sunnies you got some brown where am I do I have any oh no those are big ones I think they're actually in here as well Yeah. Big cities. I just think that they're brown. Like this would look nice with I don't know if it would look nice with these ones because they are more cat eyed shape. I think these are my most unflattering glasses, I can't lie. And usually I'm quite a glasses queen. I usually hit the hit the nail on the spot. So I feel like this would look nice with something like this shape like very rectangular what is it rectangular square oh yeah see see the vision okay i feel cool now <laughs> so that's number one i think i'm happy with this obviously accessorized with some earrings or whatnot you know i will probably bring a bunch of accessories with me so that's fine I'm happy with this. Let's put you back. So what I'm gonna do So what I'm actually gonna do is my sister is gonna love this video because I've got all my stuff on her bed. But um I'm gonna I bought these packing cube 
separators, whatever you will call them. And I'm going to start putting the outfits in them, even if it's not completely neat. But I'll just put them together in there and then I can go ahead, iron them, do whatever needs to be done at a later point in time. Just so I can like know the confirmed fits at least. Oh god, I'm tripping over everything in this room. I actually forgot to show you guys as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to crouch down, but I forgot to show you guys that I actually went to take on Sunday for Mother's Day. We went out. I ended up going in TK Maxx and I picked up some bits, which is not that many bits, but I wanted to show you guys anyway because I think I'm gonna bring this along. I also think this would look nice with this. It's a Cavalli or yeah, Cavalli class muscle tee. It was let me see. This was $24.99. The retail price was £120. I don't know what it is. I always forget to look. To be fair, my TK Maxx isn't the best in terms of clothes. But if you go to like a decent TK Maxx, you can find some really good stuff. It's like thrifting, but the clothes are new with tags. And still, you're getting a good price on them. <laughs> So maybe not thrifting then, because the whole point of thrifting is that it's not new. Anyway, ignore that. I was talking about the, the inexpensiveness of it anyway. I also saw a Versace top. If I had £50 to spare, I would have bought that top because it was £50. And I think the retail price was like £200 and something pounds. Something crazy like that. Anyway. But it was a really cute Versace top. But I couldn't get it. <sighs> oh well. So give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, so I can buy £50 for slushy tops that are on sale. Thank you. Anyway, I'm thinking maybe I might wear this. This is really soft as well. <laughs> Sorry. Distractions. Oh my gosh. So anyway, got that. And then also got these shorts, but I'm going to take these back. These are some Hollister shorts. These don't fit me that well. Um, these were twelve ninety nine. Right, I didn't read that. Didn't read it says curvy, curvy. I didn't read that part because your girl's not curvy. Because you can see here, like it's got like quite wide hip shape down here. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you kind of can. So I will be taking these back. So that's a good twelve ninety nine going back into my account. Very happy about that. This top, I'm a bit umming and ahhing about. I do really like it, but I'm like, if I didn't have it, would I miss it? I don't know. I probably would. <laughs> anyway, sorry. This is a Lucy. A Lucy. I, I feel like this is probably a foreign, like a European brand or something. But let me know if you guys know this brand. It's this green top, which I think is actually quite cute. You know, geom geometric shapes are very on trend at the moment, and I do quite love it. I think it would just stand the test of time anyway when it goes out of trend. But it has these really cute sleeves on it, very feminine, girlyish kind of sleeves. Double layered green colour. I'm loving green. Um, this was $16.99, and it's very thick material. Like, this is... You probably won't be able to tell, but it's a very thick, like, woven material for the price. So, yeah, I think they had quite a lot of stuff from this brand in there. So, I'm here for it. I'm trying to see what material it actually is, because it feels really nice. Viscose? Viscose? I don't know what that is. Polyester. Anyway. So, yeah, I think I will keep this, because this would be really nice for, like, summertime. So I'm going to keep the two tops, but I'm going to take back the shorts. And let me put on another outfit. Let me see what what outfit shall we do next. Let me find my phone in this mess of items. Here we go. Okay, um, do I do that one next? Yeah, I'm just going to go in order of the way I've done it. A very simple outfit, but it's basically just shorts. And either an oversized top or a bodysuit. I think if I do the bodysuit, I'll definitely do like the belt action with it. But if not, I will do like more of an oversized top shorts underneath exposed how do i say that <laughs> not exposed <laughs> um not tucked in and then we've got little things here of what i'd wear it with so oh no that's the wrong one this is the one that i what i'd wear it with so denim shorts puma bucket hat trainers and brown river island bag so let me go try those on right i thought i'll check in before the outfit's 100 percent complete because sometimes it can seem like you just put 
it together and you were like, yes, I did it. Most of the times that's not how it works. Well, for me anyway, I don't know about you guys, but for most of the time for me, that's not how it works when I come up with outfits. It's kind of like I will try something and I'll be like, right, something's a little bit off here. Maybe you are not the personal stylist you thought you were. So this is what we're working with right now. My shorts have been rolled up. Um, still, I don't know. I think like I only, I only want to take one pair of shorts. And uh, because obviously of where we're going, I want them to be, they, they're not going to be batty riders. Like, let's just be real. So, like I said, the colours are kind of working together. But something just feels off. Like, I feel like I'm a bit of a, an explorer right now. Obviously, my hair's not out either, so it looks a bit weird. But I like the elements. I need them, I need something to make it work. So I'm going to try with the belt off, first of all. Okay, I kind of like that, actually. I don't know if it needs the belt necessarily. Sometimes things need things just to break them up a little bit. Um, I need to go look in the mirror. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm not a hundred hundred percent sure, but I feel like this where we're at now has a lot of potential. I prefer it kind of like this grey cardigan on because it kind of neutrifies neutrifies if that is even a word. God, my nipples will really be showing through this. Um, the whole look. Um so yeah i think i've like extended the shorts as well i think this with the hat funny enough uh, maybe i would switch it around because this hat has like a ah! no i'm joking <laughs> this hat can like be reversible i think i got this off depop so i could switch it around as well and have it with that way depends how i'm feeling depends what my hair kind of looks like with the whole thing so we shall see. Right, so I have this jumper. This is from Nasty Girl a couple of years ago now. Um, and I would love to wear it because I don't really get an option. I, I don't know. I always kind of forget about it. Like, because it's a jumper, once it, after it hits, um, once it hits, like, spring, summertime, I kind of just forget about it. And spring hair is never really that hot anyway. And because it's like, you know, one shoulder kind of vibe it needs to be relatively warm but not too warm <laughs> so you see the, you see the dilemma in here dilemma <laughs> i feel like i have so many outfit ideas almost too many and i'm like i want to wear that but i want to wear that but i want to wear that i mean kiki come on you've got you've got a good summertime here like you could do a lot okay, so i've got it with these jeans on these are like really wide leg baggy jeans i mean it looks fine i mean it's a fine outfit it's a fine outfit but i don't know if it's hitting the spot just quite right i've now got two nighttime outfits three daytime outfits kind of four okay one is in the middle this could be a nighttime it could be a daytime depends on the vibe uh Okay, very simple outfit, midi skirt, white tank top, I love me a tank top honestly, I need more of these in my life, I have about three tank tops and I wear them non-stop, um, and then this, I was going to wear my black, I've got like a black cropped hoodie as well, but I don't know, I feel like the contrast of this and also the colour and the velvet gives it more of that no i'm joking i was gonna say gives it more of that like uh 2000s is it 2000s i want to say 2000s i don't know i'd be getting it mixed up with the 90s um 2000s feel so i think i'm gonna go for this and then again i've got two outfits now with this cow print bra bag obviously i'm trying to like utilize multiple um items did that make any sense? I'm trying to use the Sims. Ugh. I'm trying to use an item more than once so that I'm not wasting space, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Goodness me. Okay, this is just a personal reminder to wear this outfit, but this is not going to be for the, the trip. This top. This skirt, which I've literally never worn. I had this years ago, and I've still never worn it. <laughs> It's like the most tightest and also not tight skirt at the same time. 
but I don't know I've had this denim midi skirt from time and I've just never really worn it but also I was kind of like at that I was in the age where I was like I had a style that I liked or things that I liked but I would just never wear them because I would just never think wear the things I felt uncomfortable in which is anything that made me stand out which obviously this outfit is in that but I feel like now I'm older I can get away with it because I don't really give a shit so yeah I definitely wear this outfit one of these days I also keep forgetting to take pictures on my phone but I've been taking do you know what I'm not even going to show you because they look terrible the pictures but I literally will put on the outfit and then I'll just take like a really quick picture of it um just so that I can when I'm in the moment when I'm in on holiday I mean when I'm away and I'm picking the outfits like looking outside <laughs> why am I trying to paint the picture so badly <laughs> what I mean is like when you're in the moment and you're trying to figure out what outfit to actually wear on that day it's just easier if you have it on your body you know what it looks like you know okay yeah I can yeah okay you you understand right it's just easier right so I have put the clothes into two of the packing these are the largest packing cubes I have this one I've just done the clothes that are like already got every piece in it slash our exact outfits if that makes sense and then this one I did nighttime outfits and then some extra tops because I think I'll definitely have enough bottoms if anything happens but tops is just like um maybe some warmer options actually maybe I should put a long sleeve in there I can't lie yeah, I don't know I'm not completely finished anyway I'm gonna probably rejig some stuff around eventually but I just needed to put them in here because there's actually quite a bit of room still in them which is great but I just need to put them away just so that I have space because there's nowhere to like just store clothes that have no no space so I've got also got these extra ones as well and there's more in here so I've got some stuff to play with uh yeah I'm pretty much done I've left out all of like the hoodies or jumpers style things just because I don't want to take up room I've got quite a few quite a few jumpers slash what are these called jackets that's what I'm looking for quite a few jackets I'm not sure 100% what I'm wearing to the airport so that's also important but yeah that's it that's me done for today because I am tired I never ate lunch so I need to go find something to eat now and yeah I will see you guys maybe tomorrow actually Junior Watson, I be on my Junior Watson, I be on my Tell him this Did he miss Junior Watson, I be on my mm. I can't really see where did I miss mm. Mm. X strippers mm. Mm. New killers mm. Mm. Shot, tell him mm. Mm. This on Donda mm. Mm. On my mama mm. Mm. Made a promise mm. Junior Watson, I be on my Right, so we are about to do our makeup now because it's time to get ready. Um, let me just introduce you to everyone who's here. They're doing their makeup as well at the same time. Right, oh. so we got Georgina, of course. Of course, the coordinator. The, um, oh, fuck, what the muse. No, no, no. The creator. The creator. Yeah. The creative director. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> and then we've got Danielle. Oh okay, yeah, all of their socials will be down below as well. So. <laughs> My skin's not great, so <laughs> my hair is really sticking out right now. But yeah, Georgina's now just getting ready and they're putting up like a little black backdrop. I'll show you. Let's see Danielle's makeup. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> 
Whilst we're doing her makeup. At first, I really rated that her. Kind of her. Thing yeah. Yeah. She's nasty as well. But just putting up the backdrop. Ground myself in the ground. Because no respect for yourself. Are you? So you're trying to say, oh. Look at these glasses, guys. Glasses. Wow. We're going to face this way. Oh, this way. So much of my hair like this. I mean, hi. <laughs> hi. I think they're from Shein. Don't talk to us. We can't see <laughs> you. You can't see with us. You can't see you us. Can't join the photo shoot with us. <laughs> my day. These are so cute. Um, These ones. Mm -hmm. These are my favorite. So automatically, they have to look nice on me. Like, there's no question. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do yeah, well, I'm already. already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know <laughs> so these are the fits we got today. Look at these. Junior Watson, I've been on my all summer, all summer, for my gunners, in pajamas, they piranhas, by our snow and I was like we planned it. Junior Watson, I've been on my. So I am in fit number one. I'm backlit right now, so you can't tell as much, but it's like this really nice gold yellow color. Sorry, I'm holding my socks in my hand. But yeah, it's pretty gorgeous. I've currently got my eye on the pink one because I think it looks gorgeous, but I'm in the yellow right now. Junior Watson, I've been on my <laughs> Junior Watson, I be on my re, re. Tell him this, did he miss? Junior Watson, I be on my mm. I can't really see where did I miss? Mm. Mm. X strippers, mm. Mm. new killers, mm. Mm. shot. Tell him mm. Mm. this on Donda. Mm. Mm. On my mama, mm. Mm. made a promise. Mm. Junior Watson, I be on my re. Junior Watson, I be on my re. Tell him this.
so after the shoot we ended up going to dinner at Lissman's. It was really nice to catch up with all the girls and just have a little chat and everything. In Gucci now, all I ever ask was you to pick up the phone when you were she stayed over at Georgina's just to like you know we hadn't really spent much time together and it was nice to have a little catch up a little sleepover vibes and she basically went through all of the kind of photos that we took and saved the ones that she liked Honest Burger and honestly if you have not tried honestly <laughs> honestly if you have not tried Honest Burger yet and you have one near you you need to get one because it was like the best burger I've ever had ever <laughs> oh my god good morning guys <laughs> I come to you with Christmas pajamas and a morning face I just wanted to update you guys the hands okay I wanted to update you guys because I've kind of just been all over the place, I can't lie, like this vlog, I don't know what it's gonna look like. I feel like when you put them together, when you put, when I put the clip together, it'll be fine. But just in my head, I'm like, what have I actually filmed? So you guys saw, I went to my friend's house, we had a photo shoot for her mum's business. Her business will be linked down below and I would have probably put stuff on the screen as well. Um, I'm sure the pieces will be out by the time I post this because I know she doesn't really want us to post stuff until they're out so i don't know when i'm gonna be able to get it up otherwise i'll just ask her anyway uh what else oh yeah my instagram got hacked that's fun um both my instagrams got hacked actually i think because i linked together and it was so my personal instagram got hacked which is private and then my other instagram as well got hacked so that's really fun i'm still dealing with that oh I just can't like I feel no type of way about it it's just more than anything it's just frustrating like if I don't get it back then it is what it is at this point because what else can I do I can't do anything like my life is just keeps going to shit so what can I do um I don't know I feel like everyone's been going through this kind of energy right now <laughs> where they're like what the frig am I doing with my life what is life like why am I doing this to myself? Just feeling a bit, I get really like brain fog. So I don't know, I think this week is just gonna have to be doing the bare minimum, doing as much as I can. I need to do my hair and I need to finish packing. I haven't really packed. So I need to pack as well. So that's basically gonna be this week. My eyes are probably shooting all over the place, I can't lie. But yeah, broke my nail, trying on my outfit. It's, you can't really tell, but basically I was just gonna get infills. As you can see, they are disgraceful. And I'm going on Saturday with my sister to get them done. I can't lie, I can't wait to get these off. Like, I'm, I was literally debating like, no, I kind of wish I had just taken them off and like re-strengthened my nail in the time that I had between my birthday and, which was a month. <laughs> it was a month, it was over a month. Let's not even lie to ourselves. Anyway decision was made now and now i have to go get my nails done on saturday so yes uh what else what's else i think that is kind of it for the updates in terms of going away morning party people as you can see i'm in a much better mood also did my hair i've got a little thing on because we're about to go to town me and my sister and my mom's coming actually so I got my nails done. Um, what else do I need? I need to get a couple more bits, I want to say. I can't even remember what I need to get, but I wrote a list anyway, so. It did melon taste great today. Anyway, uh, good morning. Hope you're having a good day. As I said, I'm in a bit of a better mood, which is great. Um still very upset about my instagram like very upset like my old instagram as well i have i have pictures from when instagram i first ever went on instagram hi um and also i never deleted any pictures of that like i know a lot of people like to archive their pics delete them re-upload them i just was very a sentimental place for me like a little photo book of every stage of my life so that's annoying that's gone <laughs> we're getting through it yeah, i'm just making some toast 
eat some fruit before I go and I'll update you guys a little bit later on. Guys, I don't know what happened, but I thought I broke my camera for a second there and I would have cried. Anyway, good morning. Uh, your girl has officially started her period. So I've been a little bit of plain. Um, it's kind of good. It's Sunday today, so it's I guess it's good it started today. It means like I have two days where I'm not traveling. Um, because it usually lasts about five days, so it's good. I did get my nails done yesterday when I went to town. They look a bit less bright on camera, I think, but they are. Let me see if I can do it this way. Like orange. I literally just took off the acrylics and then yeah so I got the acrylics taken off got my nails shaped and then got gel on my nails I just did not want to deal with the acrylics again have them grow out have me go back get them taken off it seemed like a whole task I did not want to be a part of so I just decided to get a gel manicure done I guess and I really like it actually definitely will not be going back to nails for as long as possible i think if anything i'm just gonna do like some press-ons if it's a birthday or something like that because ugh, i can't deal nails i can't do it i've got a couple of things to do i feel like i'm gonna be talking about my instagram being hacked this whole time but i'm feeling a bit more motivated to, to get back into like working again um after that happened when did that happen i feel like i've given myself a week so yeah every time i look at it like because one of my profiles isn't private so i can look at it every time i look at it i'm like oh i just love how i ha was doing my that instagram as well but i guess it wasn't really aligning with it was a bit like a mix a mismatch like one was very personal more lifestyle slash fashion content and the other one was very much like spiritual growth and self-care or whatever you want to call it content so i don't know i think i needed maybe that to blend them both together which i think i'm going to do on the account that i have left the only account i have left so yes i need to wash my makeup brushes as well and what else do i need to do i need to finish packing wash my makeup brushes so my makeup do a lot of things today so hopefully i can actually take you along with some content and this will probably be the final day that i film anything because I feel like I've been filming this vlog for freaking ages. At least, I think a whole month to be honest. Obviously I'll be filming when I go away so you'll get a video then but I think I might break it up. Rather than do like a vlog then a vlog then a vlog. So I think I'm going to go to posting once a week. Because my videos take so long. Like this is probably going to be 50 minutes or longer or I don't know 40 minutes or longer. So like yeah so i think i'm not gonna put too much pressure to post like twice a week all the time if i have another video that can go up then sure on youtube anyway um obviously instagram will be a lot more frequently frequent and i'm gonna try and do a lot more igtvs i mean i keep calling it igtv but it's called a reel now i'm gonna try and do a lot more reels so it's like mini videos over there <sighs> lots to do I am currently on PLT. Have I cleaned my makeup brushes? The answer to that is no. I'm trying to look for some leggings. I currently have 20% off, so ugh, I'm in a good, good time to buy them. But also, I do need next day delivery, and I know they're a little bit weird about that as well. Sometimes it does not come next day. So, this is my issue I'm having right now. Is I've seen some really cute leggings, but they are purple. You can even... So these purple ones here, I really like those. They're like £4.50, which is a bit questionable because sometimes when you buy the really discounted stuff, it means that it wasn't made well or something because it gets, keeps getting sent back. Then I'm thinking if I get that, because I've also seen these really nice white trousers. They are out of the project, but I don't know. I think I like them because they remind me of this fit that I could possibly wear if I even got my Pinterest right now. Gosh, I'm really taking you guys on a journey with me right now. Uh, okay, this fit here it is that I really like because I have like a muscle tee like this and then she's got kind of like this frilly effect on her trousers. And I think it really works well, like the simplicity of this and then with more like complex trousers. 
like you know I keep I'm really enjoying like trousers with some more detailing on I love trousers anyway but when they have extra detail it just kind of elevates outfits a lot easier so that's why I'm kind of like do I get these do I not I don't know 100% I do really like them though but the price though these leggings I'll probably get in this dusty pink color because I think I'll wear that color a lot and then we also have Oh yeah, so the issue that I was having is deciding, do I just go for black? Black is boring, but I need a black pair. And I know next time I go to get leggings, I'm going to be like, I still don't have a black pair of leggings that I like to wear. So this color I love, this charcoal gray, charcoal gray even, but they don't have my size, which is very annoying. Otherwise I would have just snatched those up. Good morning guys! Um, yesterday was meant to be the last part of this vlog, but again, did she really film anything? It's a no. But I don't know, I feel like I can't film when other people are around. I don't know what it is. It's it's a thing. Um, so I, if you can hear anything rumbling, it's the kettle. I'm gonna finish filming today, but I'll show you a couple of things. Um, I'm currently about to make breakfast, so I'm gonna do that first. But I'm trying to think if there's anything new I need to show you guys that I haven't showed you. Uh, I don't know, I need to go in my suitcase anyway. It's like 21 and something kilograms right now. And we have up to 23 kilograms, and my sister and my cousin are both over. So I don't know what they're gonna do. But in me, I'm good right now. I just gotta add couple more bits even though i literally cannot close so i don't know how that's gonna go uh thought i might as well show you my new shoes that i picked up i was meant to get i don't know if i told you guys but i was planning on getting the high top converse platforms but i went to the shop tried them on they're pretty chunky they're very big and i was a bit like i don't know i don't know about them but then i went on asos and i saw these I oh, saw these Nike blazers so I got these instead if I can take it out they kind of have like this kind of old school vibe to them I feel like I love the big Nike on the back there and I like the contrasting of the colors like we've got black we've got gray we've got white basically all the colors I wanted in a shoe <laughs> but put together and um, it's also the leather material as well. I really wanted a leather shoe because I was going to get the uh, Converse High Tops leather color, um, leather color, <laughs> the leather ones, because I want to be able to like, you know, wipe them off and stuff if they get dirty. I don't want to have to fuff with uh, canvas shoes or whatever they're called. So if you, you guys should know this by now, but if you don't, I really like stuff that's like different. That I haven't really seen other people have, so I like that they are i haven't really seen anyone with that kind of colorway of night blazers anyway i'm about to make some coffee and have a little something to eat and then i will update you guys in a little bit this time i will actually update you guys like promise, promise. okay so plt packages came in i ordered these yesterday i think i did show you a little bit of me searching online for some leggings Oh my gosh. And then this is the thing I should not do. When I go to look for one item, especially on PRT, I should not go search in the other categories. Why do I do that to myself? Because I get it in my head like, I need that. You don't need that because you didn't need it a second ago. Anyway. So, if I can open these. I did next day delivery, obviously, because it came today. So, But sometimes it is a little bit risky doing next day on PRT because... Sometimes it don't be coming next day, really. I'm slightly hoping I don't like something so I can send it back. Okay, these are the white trousers. Also got some pink leggings. These are like a dusty rose type pink color. I've got some purple leggings as well, actually. I feel like they're a little bit darker than I thought they were gonna be, but they look okay. Pink and purple leggings, okay. <laughs> We've got a fancy little box here. Got some more sunglasses. Did I need any more sunglasses? No. The plan was not to get any more, but like I said, checked on the other categories and 
annoyingly. So, <laughs> two sunglasses I really liked. It's like I just picture an outfit in my head of it and I'm like, right, so now I need it. And if I don't get it, then I'll never find it again. Stupid. Anyway. Um, I'm kind of excited about these. And these are a little bit more expensive. Expensive for PLT, not really expensive. These are supposed to be sunglasses, but they are like a clear frame. So they kind of give a more so a glasses vibe. And I don't wear glasses, but I think glasses are cute, so... I feel like these would be really cute. You're me very, is it 70s or 80s? I'll be getting my things mixed up. Oh yeah, I can see the tint now. They're on actually. Oh. If um, by the time this video is edited and up and everything, and the items aren't out of stock, I will link them down below. Okay, these are more so on trend sunglasses. 20, 20. <laughs> I meant to say early 2000s. Style. I literally remember my mom having glasses like these. But these are just gonna be. Oh, hold on. Hold on a moment. These might be airport sunnies. I'm reminding me of very much so of the Chanel's as well. That everyone's been getting. These got a um, nice brown tint to them. I don't think I have any sunnies with brown tint, so I like these. I think I want to try these on again. I like it now. I've tried it on again. Like hair up. Oh, yeah, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. Don't even not feel. Okay. I'm gonna go try on the rest of the pieces as well. I probably won't show you guys. Um, but if you guys end up watching my holiday video vlog, then you guys will see the items if I like them. If I don't like them, I'll let you guys know in this video here. But yeah, that's the items I've got. Um, my suitcase is pretty much packed. I have food in the oven, I need to go check as well. But yeah, my suitcase is very much so packed. Uh, it's on very, very it's at the top it's at its limit but i do need to add i want to try and add my bag of like knickers and socks and um, underwear and stuff into it and then i should be okay for that and i've also got to go meet my cousin at the station because we are getting a lift to london and then we're getting the train from london to the airport I know I haven't showed you guys a lot in this vlog. I've just been telling you what I'm doing and not really showing much. So I do apologise for that. Yeah, hopefully I can get back on track. I feel like being away, being in a different place. I haven't been away for like three years probably. Because it's not really like a holiday holiday. Like beach, sun kind of holiday. But the change of scenery will do wonders for me. So I'm excited to go. Um, I'm not going to close out just yet. I'm going to see if anything else occurs. But if it don't, you'll know. Hold on. Okay, I'm currently struggling because I feel like my suitcase is full. My hand luggage is like full and I have to put my, I'm thinking like I need to put my laptop in there, which kind of weighs stuff down quite a lot. I'm bringing this hand luggage, which is pretty big, but that's already heavy. And I don't know what to do guys. I don't know what to do. I feel like I need to go with well I don't know I feel like I need to just look back through my outfits real quick and just see if there's any like outfits I can either I don't know do something with but I feel like I'm bringing a lot of items of clothing where I could probably rewear some things oh, my belly is also starting to cramp and I need to pick my cousin up in I need to leave to get her in like 30 minutes so I need to hurry up <laughs> All right guys, suitcase is packed. Hand luggage, don't really know yet. So still deciding about that. But most part, I'm gonna be done. So I'm gonna close out this video here. Picked up my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> my sister's here too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I forgot what I say. Uh, Stay tuned. Stay tuned, bye. Just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt.